G'day folks. Uh, today we're going to embark into my, uh, well, my I'm a industrial electrician and uh, we're going to bar embark on my IBEW International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers something to do with that. I have a few friends in there that belong to the Brotherhood and I uh, had a few requests say, hey, hey Gator, why don't you tell any uh, uh, electrical stories of uh, things that have happened over the years? I was uh, foreman for uh, a company, I don't have to name the name, but uh, for over, uh, over 30, close to 40 years. And uh, during that, different things have happened and one time, <clears throat> okay, I'm working for a paper mill here in Ottawa. It's called E.B. Eddie's, and uh, they're digging, eh? And uh, they hit two cables <laughs> right in the yard, eh? And uh, as far as everybody's concerned, there's no cables there, eh? But this place dates back to the 1700s when the uh, first guys started to do any, well, on the island, <laughs> because this is a, an island and the Ottawa River and the, the tributaries go around the island, islands, yes, <laughs> and the, uh, so there was a guy who was he's called uh Philemon Wright and he was uh well he was a farmer that's what he was and uh, but this guy was uh not poor because he got his own generating station on the Ottawa and he was producing his own power but in the day see electricity when electricity started uh <laughs> Edison used to, to think that uh, DC was the way to go away eh? until they found out that when you're running on DC your cables have to be that big <laughs> well a lot bigger than AC to supply power a eh? so but anyways this guy used to have a generating station and just for his home and his barns and everything and uh, ever, everything was running on AC, eh? But he had some uh, water-fed turbines and they were D DC. And uh, in the day, well, I was gonna say, well, I could say, in the day they had some generators too. They had little uh, electric cars, eh? I don't know if they had any in Hull, but in Ottawa they had some uh, electric cars and they used because I know this because I went and worked in the powerhouses for auto hydro and uh, they had the uh, uh, DC generators too for the little cars eh and the uh, electric cars and uh, had lines in the air and uh, they used to well run off this DC but anyways okay coming back to our uh, <laughs> Our original story they're digging in the yard and they hit these two cables hey eh? the cables are oh they're like that size hey eh? not small eh? <laughs> now they didn't rip them open but now they ha are they alive what is it where did they go <laughs> so anyways uh, we uh, what we proceeded to do they communicated with us. I was a contractor uh, at the mill, eh? not a, a mill electrician, but a contractor. Eh? So they communicated with us. I got a few tools brought down. I had the, the tracer and the a tumper, they call that, and I had the a spike, uh, the tool to spike the cable. Because eh? when you can't like we tried to put a trace on the outside of the cable to find out where it come from but we couldn't get a signal eh? and uh, so what we did is uh, we decided 
like nobody knew about this cable nobody so we decided ah we're gonna spike it spike it you know what that is <laughs> is you stick the well you stick the spike on the cable and then it's a isolated it's a wooden handle hardwood and you hold that and you drive it with a sledge eh? and you drive it right through the cable eh? well pff, it was dead so what we did is we operated we put a we put a the tracer on the cable in the center with the outside jacket eh? and uh, we managed to get a, a I could see the direction it was going and uh, there used to be I had remembered that from the years like 20 30 years beforehand I remember they used to have right in the middle of a building that had an open area used to be an old hydro line that had come in and uh, there was a few transformers in that area right in the middle of a building <laughs> was an empty spot like almost like a picnic area and it was still probably a little bit polluted as a matter of fact because there was a in the day eh, nobody cared about the oil spills eh? <laughs> but anyways um, so I remember that in the cable the direction it was going was heading right for that eh? and the other way it was heading towards the uh, powerhouse which would generate power ace eh? so I figured mm, that's what it was used to be an old cable that was used in the day probably 1800 something like that and uh, but uh, when you spike a cable like that eh? every shot that you give with the sledge eh? and the spikes being driven into the cable you're expecting a <laughs> you know uh, that's an exciting moment that, but I don't know of another way if you find a cable in the ground like that I don't know of another way that uh, a cable that nobody knows hey and this this when we got done eh, we uh, <laughs> we opened it up the cable we did an operation eh, and uh, <laughs> the cable was a thousand mcm a thousand mcm oh it's about that size copper <laughs> that's respectable eh that's i i seen uh, in uh not a solid wire but uh, uh like a combined cable wire i seen 2000 mcm which is that size i seen that that's off an old generator but these cables were in the day these cables were abandoned and there was new see i think <laughs> this is uh generators that were operating a eh? and uh, the original voltage was probably i don't know it was a it was ac but the voltage wasn't like 600 volt or uh 2000 uh 400 it was uh probably 240 and when they changed the voltage it changed the windings and then they changed the cables eh because the insulation on the cables wasn't good enough eh and uh, 2000 mcm can you imagine <laughs> can you imagine bringing that copper to <laughs> to sell it <laughs> anyways that's uh that's a story electrical story there'll be there's a lot <laughs> but right now that's one that i'm thinking of eh? the time we had to spike the cable uh makes you wonder before you do that eh like what happens if that cable's in use eh and you spike that cable and then batow it blows up whatever that's feeding now you gotta do two splices <laughs> you gotta splice that cable to bringing whatever was feeding back to life eh? so it's a uh, pretty uh, you got to do some testing and uh, inquiring uh, like uh, I had asked and uh, it was a uh, considerable <laughs> uh, things to do uh, to spike that cable eh? but it was the only no they 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 wanted to, to shovel through that 
and uh, that was in the way they could have dug underneath but uh, if it's in the way well I don't know if they made note of that 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 cable they took a chunk of it out and uh, we didn't get that chunk so somebody else did but anyways <laughs> yeah just some to think about eh there was a few places there there was some cables eh like there was an I remember there was an old generating station it was a kind of abandoned eh and uh, I when I was young I had gone in there we weren't really permitted in there but it was abandoned eh? there's no lights no nothing eh? we had gone in there and just uh, sniffing around eh? <laughs> but that's it that's the life eh? in uh, <laughs> the electrical and my uh, through the years they eh, had a interesting uh, life as an electrician uh, Oh, didn't work when I was real, real young. I worked in housing when I, when I started. And then after that, I went into commercial. And then from commercial, I started to work in the, the mills, eh? And uh, once I started working in different mills, I worked in uh, um, steel mill. I worked in uh, uh, sawmills, a few sawmills, yeah. Up the valley here, uh, there's some sawmills. They're all closed down now. I believe, uh, but work that was that uh, was interesting, and then it was in it was in the days when there was uh, not too much work, eh? And uh, it was either go out of town like a long distance, go out west in Alberta uh, in the sands, eh? Uh, go work in the tar sands, or or uh, well, here we're about two hours away up the valley there. So I worked there, and it was good work, uh, interesting, different, uh, and there's a smell to it eh, when you're working in the sawmills, like especially the pine pine mill. There's a smell to that, eh? When you come into the the pine mill area, there you can smell the pine, eh? And it's uh, well, like different years we went back, eh, and it, when you first come in the yard, you you get a sniff there, and it. It well, brings good memories to mind, eh? But there's uh, electrical adventures up there too, eh? The, the place was Davidson's. Davidson's up uh, up the Ottawa River here. Anyways, I guess this is long enough. It was a shorty, eh? But uh, just something interesting to happen when I when I was young. <laughs> ah, I've been uh, retired now for twelve. 12 years yeah so that was in the 12 13 14 years this year my 13 years yeah done the next uh, September will be 14 years <laughs> time flies eh, when you're having fun okay that's it folks that's it we burnt this one <laughs> and with that February's over and we're into March, eh? And then first thing you know, the it's gonna be good weather and uh, be heading up to you know where, eh? <laughs> okay, folks, that's it for this one. Comments are welcome and uh, uh, it's your chance to subscribe to this Jewels of no Knowledge channel. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>